Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to like uh, discuss on a topic uh, instruction dependence and uh, we will be taking one example. So this is one of the example question that we are going to solve now. So the question is like, show and explain dependencies in following code. We have to like what are what what are the dependencies that are there and we have to explain the dependencies. Okay, this is the instruction one, instruction two, instruction three, instruction four, and instruction five. There are five instruction. We have to show and explain the dependencies. Instruction wise dependency should be clearly explained with respect to the variable. So first of all Before answering this question, right? We need to know what are instruction dependencies? How many types are there? Okay, what are instruction dependencies? And how many types are there? So instruction dependencies also called as uh, data hazards in computer architecture okay so when instruction run one after another sometime a later instruction depends on the result dependencies itself means that one instruction is depend on other okay this means the processor cannot execute them fully in parallel it must wait until the required value is available okay if previous one is executed then only the next one will be executed so let us let me write the types of dependencies how many types are there there are three types what are they raw war and third one is waw okay so raw means read read after write and war matlab write after read and waw means write after write okay so it is a true dependency it's most common guys this one is most common and this this is anti dependency we can say anti dependency and we can say this is as output dependency and what we can say we can say this as true okay done so there are three dependencies raw war and waw so here we, we are mainly focused in this question we are mainly focusing on raw dependency so what is the first instruction move r2 comma 10 okay now i will be explaining this question by comparing it with daily life as well so first one dependency i am writing dependency so there will be dependency matlab one instruction is dependent on other instruction so i will be writing i1 i2 dependency okay so it's based on r2 that's why so first of all i2 sets r2 equal to 10 okay in this question you can like in this instruction you can observe i2 like that means r2 and the value 10 assigned r2 equal to 10 it assigns now what it will happen i2 uses sorry this one i1 i am very sorry i1 sets r2 equal to 10 and i2 uses r2's value to load memory into r6 got it what happened just i1 sets value like for r2 equal to 1 and then i2 loads that r2's value to load memory into r6 okay now which dependency it is raw depends r a w right sorry read first it is reading and after that it is writing like that raw dependency on r2 So if we compare it with daily life, you need the address of house, like one house that is I1 before you can go there to pick up a parcel. Okay. So like, uh, like uh, you have to like know the address house, address of the house such that before you can go there and to pick up the parcel. That means you are, this is the address of the house and the I2 is the parcel. If you know the address of the house, then only you can collect the parcel. This is the information one, this is the information two. Okay, so like this I'm comparing. Okay, now let me go to the second dependency. Here there are uh, four dependencies. I will be writing dependency two now. Dependency, dependency two is like I2 to I5. It is on R6. How it is working, let me see. Okay, so first of all, I2 loads R6, right? i2 loads data into r6 done then i5 compares here it means compares with uh, which one i5 compares which to which r6 and r1 right yeah r6 with r1 
and this one also we can say as raw dependency okay this is also we can say raw dependency on r6 so if we collect if we compare it with daily life like you can collect the first parcel that is there in the like after knowing the address you know the instruction i1 address you are going to collect the first parcel so you collect the parcel i2 later you compare it with the another parcel i5 without the parcel without the parcel no comparison can happen so what i am telling is you collected the parcel from i2 okay and after that there is another parcel r1 here in instruction 5 so without you are no without knowing uh, r1 right you cannot compare so that's why it depends on that that's why we have done rr dependency read after write first one is loading and after that comparing like that we are doing next dependency 3 dependency 3 is from i3 to i4 how it works it depends on r2 mainly the main thing is so first of all what is i3 here i3 updates r2 i3 updates like it is adding right r2 plus r2 plus 4 like that r2 in r2 it is showing r2 plus 4 updates r2 okay that is equal to r2 equal to r2 plus 4 r2 plus 4 it is adding and it is storing the r2 that means update and after that i4 uses i4 uses new r2 and like to load in to load in r1 okay you got it right i2 loads r2 and it is loading in r1 so similarly same like this only right so we can say raw dependency density on r2 you think it will complete you can 3 i3 i4 i1 i2 and i2 i5 it is complete you can think but uh, still there is one more dependency left that is dependency 4 dependency 4 that is from i4 to i5 that is for r1 okay if you can see the r1 okay so if you can see the i4 to i5 so what is happening first i4 loads the data of r1 right i4 loads data into r1 next i5 what here happens i5 compares r1 and r5 r6 right i5 compares r1 with r6 now it is again a raw dependency first is loading and after that is comparing dependency on r1 okay so you got it right dependency 4 so these are only four dependencies first you can see what things you are using what the instruction is loading or saving and where it is being used okay here you can see first r2 is loading like uh, r2 is storing the value of 10 reads it sets the value and after that it uses r to value in i instruction 2 so dependency is nothing but where it is depending like that so what we can say on the final is final summary so i1 i2 is r2 dependency and uh, i2 i5 is r6 dependency i3 i4 is r2 dependency and uh, i4 to i5 is r1 dependency we can say so all the dependencies here are read after write meaning each new step waits for the previous results so so in real life as well if we compare like uh, you will get the first the address address of the first house then you will collect the parcel and you move to the next house and you will collect the second parcel and you finally you compare the two parts like this you can compare it with re, uh, real life and this shows how processor deal with instruction dependencies where each step sometimes waits for the previous one's result so with this i am concluding this topic so if you have any doubts or if you want me to do any modifications in my videos you can post me in the uh, like in the comments so that i will be modifying in my next videos so also before like please try to understand guys because you know you will write and you will take this to exam but the main thing behind the explaining is to understand at the last you have to if you understand only it will be very useful in the time of exam just it's a small thing you need to learn what are dependencies and which dependency that's all you can get the six mark it is a six mark question if you write like this you will definitely get six marks okay try to understand and uh, write in the exam okay thank you guys for watching my video